Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Kevin's Card Collecting. Welcome to another Fairfield Friday. <clears throat> Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Kevin's Card Collecting. Oh, hold on, forgot to mute my microphone there. Hey, we got a couple guys in here already. Classic, wow, three, Henry and Donald, all right. Sorry if you just heard all that background, I forgot to tr mute my uh, speakers, but uh, got that fixed. I normally have a little checklist I go through before I start the show, and that's one of the items on it. I forgot to bring out my checklist. <laughs> so, anywho, it's all fixed now. Hey there, Chris. How you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. So I hope everybody's having a great Friday. If you're a Monday through Friday kind of guy, then uh, today's the best day of the week. Honestly, I don't think it is. I think Saturday is. Everyone says, thank God it's Friday, but Friday you still have to work. So when Saturday rolls around, that's when you say, thank God it's Saturday. But that's just my opinion. So we'll give it a couple of minutes here, and then uh, we'll get let some more people join in. And then we're going to start cracking open some boxes. I've got two boxes of Fairfield, like usual. I've got uh, one of the newer blue boxes and one of the older gray boxes, so we'll crack those open. I've also got quite a bit of mail we got to get through. <laughs> Um, I'm going to save the mail for the end. Um, I've got, goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight packages, guys. Um, I think two or three of them. Actually, I only think two of them are eBay purchases. A couple are some breaks that I had bought into on other people's channels. And then I got a couple just random family mail packages from folks. Boom Slings with us. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Parker Brakes, good to see you. Yep, that's, uh, I guess that's the life of a retired guy, right, Donald? I can only imagine. One of these days, though, one of these days. <clears throat> yeah, Boomslang has something like 10 or 11 million or gazillion cards, I think, something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, Boomslang's videos are, they can be overwhelming, but they're, they are awesome. They are definitely impressive. So while we, well, I'm going to wait two more minutes. I'm going to start right at the, the half hour mark at 2.30 Pacific time. So that gives us a couple more minutes. While you're at it, if everybody is... Uh, subbed up to each other that's good if not now's a good opportunity to to jump on each other's buses in fact everybody in here i pretty much know so everyone's good and uh quality individuals so i encourage you to sub up to each other well i was uh i wow boom slang <laughs> you know i was being facetious but uh even two million is quite uh impressive I just watched your video of all the wax boxes. I'm off to check that out, Parker. Um, I guess you're talking to Boom Sling there. <clears throat> Let me make a note of that to remind myself to check Boom Sling's light latest video out. Truth is in the house. Good to see you. I'm having a great Friday. Thanks for asking. Yep, today is a great Friday. Alrighty, one more minute and we'll go ahead and get started. Well, we got a couple seconds here before I just want to give a shout out to... Uh, my friends and community members that have sent me things and I've kind of collected their, uh, I don't want to call it um, sponsorship material, but their, we'll call it swag. How does that sound? So I've got a lineup of folks here. Plus in the corners, you'll see two over here. I've got Papa J, Papa J cards. In fact, I got some mail from him. So we're going to be cracking that box open here in a little bit. And then next to Papa J, I got this box here that's got the Diamondbacks, writing on it that's from troy's cards cars and comics then i've got 
a whole slew of folks here. I've got Ethan from Ethan's Elvis Covers and More, who, by the way, this evening, right after my stream, will be going live with the, his uh, usual sale that he puts on. This will be the last sale that he has for a few weeks, he said, because he's going back to school this weekend. And then I've got Steve Carter here, which is kind of a play on words. Uh, Carter's Kids, his name is Steve, so I found this card for Steve Carter. And uh, so that's kind of, I kind of dubbed that his card. I've got my Gypsy Queen card in honor of Bobby. Uh, if you don't know Bobby, hopefully she'll jump on here. Uh, I want to say, is it Castellano? Um, I should have it. In fact, I'm going to get her name printed on it. But uh, we call her our Gypsy Queen. I've got Ken Booth from Ken's Cardboard. I've got Donald Blomdahl, his rookie card and baseball. And then I've also in the back there on the wall is a little note and a picture of Philip Oldenburg, who also sent me a package. So we'll be opening that up in a little bit. Cool, everybody's jumping on each other's bus. Awesome. That's great. So it's it's now 2.31. So let me, I'm going to slide the mail call out of the way because I want to crack open the Fairfields. Then we're going to get into some of this other stuff. And I don't know how much time we're going to have left at the very end. Again, I don't want to um, impede on Ethan. He's got a big sale coming up this evening. I definitely want to attend, and I'd, I'd like all of you guys to check him out as well. He has the absolute best card sales I've ever seen on anybody's channel. So let me take a quick swig of water here, get this frog out of my throat. <clears throat> and then, uh, oh, Classic says some. T I yeah, you know what? And I don't, you know, I don't know. He sent me a package. This it may be in here. I don't know. It may be sooner than later. There's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. I hope you saw my intro, but I got your card here right in the middle. If it's all right with you, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to print your name up, and I think I'm going to tape it over that label where it says six trading cards. I think that would be a perfect place for your name, and I'm going to dub that your, your card for my collection. So I'm having a little bit of fun with that, but uh, I think you'd appreciate it. So, all right, I'm so glad to see everybody in here. We got nine folks in the stream right now. Uh, a check checklist here has stash numbered out of 50. <laughs> uh, oh, did you have one made, Bobby? I've not seen yours. Well, oh, I, that's awesome. Yeah, Bobby, I appreciate that. That'd be cool. Although, uh, I, I think I'm going to keep this one up too because I'm kind of partial to this one since I, I kind of made it. Well, I didn't really make it. I just cut it out. It's the, the cover. So, alrighty, guys. We're going to get right into it here. So, in typical fashion, I usually open up the older box first, which, as you know, is the gray uniform. See what we get. I haven't got a hit in a while out of one of these, and they say one in four contain a hit, so I think we're due. Since I open up two packs uh, each week, that means once, well, every two weeks, that's four boxes. So I should get a hit every other week or so. And I didn't get one last week, so we'll see. Uh, this box was packed uh, September 18th. No, I'm sorry, September 24th of 18. So a little over a year ago. For some reason, that front card usually sticks. We got it. Phillips card is funny. Yeah. I don't know if you guys, let me take a quick moment. I want to show you guys Phillips, what I've got for Philip, but I'll replace it if and when I ever get a card from him. But this came on a pack of cards he sent me. He said, got the D-backs in a couple breaks, so he sent me his D-back cards. They needed a new home, but look at the little picture he drew. That's like a self-portrait. And uh, to me, that, that little... Uh, that picture is worth a million bucks right there. So, we'll stick it back up there. Alrighty, so here we go, Fairfield Friday. And our pack is, looks like 90 FLIR. Yep, it's a 90 FLIR. So we'll set that aside. We'll do it at the halfway point between these two half stacks. 
So I don't see any thick cards. So I'm not sure about a relic in this pack. But you never know, we may get an auto. That'd be cool. So, alrighty, so here we go, getting right into it here. We got uh, Mark Texeda with the Braves. What is this? A Hank Aaron Diamond King puzzle piece card. It says, hey kids, cut carefully along the lines to form your special Hank Aaron puzzle. Oh my goodness, that's, that little card is the whole puzzle. So they want you to cut all those pieces out with scissors? That's like impossible. Those pieces are tiny. But uh, and why does it got to be kids? Why why can't they? Uh, why can't it be adults too? Anyway, <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's interesting. Uh, we got Dean Wilkins, pitcher for the Cubs, the Iowa Cubs. Iowa Cubs. And we've got uh, let's see, a Tom Glavin guys. Look at that. Here, I'll, there's a Hall of Famer. I'll give him a little. Little bell ring there. Hall of Famer Tom Glavin. Unfortunately, this card's been through the washing machine or dryer or something. It's got some crinkles in the corner. But uh, it's still a very nice card. This comes out of Stadium Club. Two, uh, 94. So we'll set that one aside. Uh, Mark Lemke for the Braves. Ozzy uh, Virgil. Uh, Kid Star, who's this? Kid Stars in '89. I spent time on the same team as my brother and father. You guys got any guesses there? In '89, he spent time on the same team as his brother and his father. Any guesses? Parker says Roberto Alomar. And I believe he's right. It says, my brother Sandy was traded from San Diego to Cleveland in 89. And the next year, I was traded to Toronto, where I led the Jays to a 92 World Series. I am all-star second baseman Roberto Alomar. Congratulations there, uh, Parker. Yeah, boom slaying. A couple guys guessed uh, Griffey. But I think the issue was the brother. I don't know about Griffey having a brother. So that kind of narrows it down to... Alamar. That's a pretty cool card. You know what? I do PC Roberto Alamar, and technically that's an Alamar card, so I want to set that one aside. Uh, then we've got a Terry Pendleton. Oh, goodness. Terry Pendleton. The whole Pendleton Templeton debate for me. All right. We got uh, Wayne Edwards with the White Sox. Boomslang says he does have a brother. I didn't know that. Interesting. Uh, Ron Gant. Ron Gant. Shout out to uh, Mountain Gorilla. He recently TTM'd Mr. Gant, and we're hoping to see a reply here pretty soon. Hope he gets one. Uh, Joe Roa, rookie card for the Giants. Really, guys, I had no idea. See, this is educational for me. I appreciate you letting me know about Griffey. I, I only knew about Junior and Senior. What was uh, the brother's name? Do you guys know his first name? There's Bernie Williams with the Yankees. Tom Runnels of the Reds. These are all backwards. Let me turn these around. Yep. I shouldn't have started a classic... No, it's not Perry, it's Gary. It's it's Gary Templeton. But, uh, yeah, see it? No, not Craig. I don't think it's... No, I think it's Gary, Boomslang. Oh, Craig is the brother of Griffey. I got you. Interesting. Okay, Justin Towell for the Reds. Joe Borowski. Oh, two... Jo okay, guys, there's our duplicate. We always get a duplicate. I think I've... Only had one box out of a dozen that didn't have duplicates. So there's our duplicate for the box. Joe Borowski. We got oh, we got double duplicates here. Manny Alexander. 
That's so uncanny how that works out. Uh, Craig Griffey, that's cool. Huh. Keith, was he on the, uh, did he play for the Mariners as well? Keith Miller, Kevin Seitzer, Dave Schmidt, Danny Darwin, Rosario Rodriguez, Terry Matthews, Todd Hundley, Terry Schumpert, Brian Harvey, Luis Soho. Parker says he always gets a duplicate. Yeah, it's in that in that interesting how that always works out. I'd love to kind of go behind the scenes at the Fairfield plant or warehouse or whatever it is and just see first of all how they acquire the cards and then how they assort them and distribute them and you know consolidate them into what we see as the final product. It's uh it's got to be interesting to see. Dave Meir for the Twins. Mark Salas for the Twins. Doug Jones for the Indians. Jeff Robinson with the Yankees. And we got David West. Uh, Felix Jose for the Royals. There's a rookie, Marcus Stroman for the Toronto Blue Jays. Shout out to Alex RCM if he's here or lurking in the background. Uh, Scott Fletcher for the White Sox. Yeah, they buy uh, collections, I guess, classic, but I, like from who, though, I wonder. Like, I don't know how they solicit. Uh... Oh, you know a guy who sells football? Well, that's cool. But, I mean, for the thousands and thousands of, if, uh, maybe millions of cards they get, I that's just a lot of cards from somebody. Uh, Jose Hernandez, rookie prospect for the Rangers. Uh, Tony... Tarasco for the Braves. Bobby Thigpen for the White Sox. Brian Downey. Joe Morgan, second baseman for the Giants. Back in the day, what year was that? Uh, 83. That car's in great shape for 1983. Uh, Dwayne Ward with the Blue Jays. And we got... Devon White with the Angels. Ron Oster with the Reds. Tom O'Malley with the Rangers. Fred McGriff with the Blue Jays. Jamie Moyer with the Cubs. We got George Bell, all-star card with the Blue Jays. Keith Moreland with the Cubs. John Franco with the Reds. There's a checklist. Mike Balecki with the Cubs. A couple of newer cards here. Kristen Stewart, rookie card for the Tigers. Uh, Lance McCullar Jr. for the Astros. And Parker Bridwell. So these are 2018 cards they've thrown in here. Very cool. Bobby. Okay, I'll check my email, Bobby. Oh, in fact, I think I see it. Let me check one second, make sure I got it. Um, yep, I got it, Bobby. Thank you. He threw a little Spanish in there, threw me for a loop. That was, that's good. All righty. No, you don't, Truth. I, I think I've pulled one or two, though. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is 90 Fleer. Not expecting a whole lot out of it, but you never know. There's our little quiz card. We got a Chicago White Sox sticker. All right, we got Dan Gladden with the Twins. Uh, the Fleer All-Star Team, Kevin Mitchell with the Giants. Tommy Gregg, Braves. Bob Kipper with the Pirates. Omar Vizquel for the Mariners. Shout out to Donald. Milt Thompson with the Cardinals. Dwight Evans with the Red Sox. Uh, 
Steve Lyons with the White Sox. Tom Burstis with the Reds. Andy McGaffigan with the Expos. Greg Briley, another shout out to Donald there with the Mariners. Will the Thrill Clark, there we go. That's like a semi hit. I'll set that one over there, I'll sleeve it up. Jeff Robinson with the Tigers. Tim Belcher with the Dodgers. And finally, a Bob Melvin. Bob Melvin, I believe that's that. That's the same Bob Melvin that uh, coached for the D-backs back in the day. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to set it aside for the time being. <laughs> Donald yells, Greg! Yep. Greg Briley. Are you a fan of the a fan of him? Who's the other one? Omar. Alrighty. So that's halfway through. Now we get to our second half of the Fairfields. Bobby says she's bought a ton of Fairfields, never seen the guy. Well. Fitzy's in the house. How you doing, Fitzy? Good to see you. You think Visco may make it to the Hall of Fame, huh? <laughs> Just Mariners. I hope you all listen to Donald's son play the organ. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go to Donald's channel and go to, it's rather recently, one of his videos from his church where his son was playing for the congregation. It was just beautiful. His son is very, very talented. <laughs> Harold Baines got in, you never know. That's funny. Um, okay, Brian Wilson for the Giants. Fausto Carmona with the Indians. Uh, Tory Hunter with the Twins. Brandon Jones for the Braves. Uh, I wouldn't mind another Jones with the Braves, but uh, not Brandon. Let's see, we got uh, Seth Mayhair's Brain. Never heard of him. First Bowman card. There's a modern 2018. There's a New York Mets team card. We got Danny Tartable with the Royals. Jose Reyes with the Mets. Got a whole sling, uh, string of uh, 2018 cards here. Jose Iglesias with the Tigers. Michael Conforto. There you go. That's not a bad card with the Mets. Uh, Ricky Nolasco with the Angels. Fitzy, any Donnie baseballs? Not yet. Um, I know I, I keep my eyes open for you, Fitzy. And Blue Jays. Speaking of Blue Jays, actually, Fitzy, um, I still got that Allerud card that you liked last week, so um, it has been set aside, not to worry. Luis Polonia with the Angels. Hey, there we go, another Hall of Famer. Little bell ring there for Mr. Alan Trammell. So we'll set that in the special pile. Uh, Jose Rio with the Reds. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna I want to take a quick moment here and ask you all a question. Uh, speaking of Donnie baseball, has anybody heard in the last month or two about uh, Mikey from Chasing Donnie Baseball? He was that gentleman from the East Coast that had a wonderful channel, had a lot of card breaks on there, just a really, really nice guy. And he got ill, and I just I haven't heard any word about him. Does anyone know the status of him? I'm just I'm anxious to hear some news. I'm hoping it's good news, but I'd love to hear how he's doing. Um, there's a Roger Clemens with the Red Sox. Set that one aside. Sean Hiegas with the White Sox. Ken Daly with the Cardinals. Uh, Dick Hauser, Royals manager, on a turn back the clock card. And we got a George Brett MVP card. That's very nice. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before, so I'll set that one aside.
Oh, truth. That's awesome to hear. I mean, I'm sure he's still got a rough road ahead of him, but if he's feeling better, that's good. Thanks for that, Truth. I appreciate the update. That is good to hear. Alrighty, here's another shout out to Donald, Harold Reynolds, with the Mariners. Rico Bragna, top prospect card. Looks like he's with the Tigers there. Dave Rucker with the Pirates. Uh, Joe Klink. You know, guys, I think of the strangest things, but what if his dad was in the military and became a colonel? Was it, Would he have been Colonel Klink? I know, I think of the strangest things, don't I? Uh, Rex Hudler of the Expos. Bro, Bronas, maybe? Brog, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Truth, if you get a chance, because I, I don't know how to contact him, but if you do talk to him again, just let him know that we're all praying for him and we're all rooting him on. He's got a lot of support in the community. Bronaye. Bronaye? I'm, I'm going to say Bronaye's. Yeah, okay. Uh, Terry Bross with the Mets. Uh, Steve Bichelle, Bichelle for the Pirates. Uh, Mariners checklist with Edgar Martinez on the front. There you go, Donald. A little bell ring for Donald there. That is a nice card. It's got the, was it the, the dome in the back there? I forget the name of the dome, but uh, the Seattle something dome. Mm. I can't recall the name. Yeah, thank you, Truth. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Lee Stevens with the Angels. Uh, Jeff Montgomery, pitcher for the Royals. Uh, Johnny Ruffin and Jerry Spraldin, Spr Spradlin with the Reds. Ooh, look at that card. That's like a glittery reflective card John Franco with the Mets and we got a Jim Deshays with the Astros Kent Anderson with the Angels John Tudor with the Cardinals uh, Shane Reynolds with the Astros Carter's Kids what's up buddy how you doing the Kingdom. There you go. Thanks, guys. Yep. I don't know. I was thinking of Metrodome. I don't know why, but that didn't sound right, so I didn't say it. But yeah, Kingdom. A uh, little Jehovah's Witness joke. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, I got you there, Boomsling. Took me a second, sorry. Uh, that's funny. Bim Roberts for the Padres. Terry Poole of the Astros. Whoops. Felix Furman. Looked like he tried to slide into second there out of my hand. For the Indians, we got Glenn Wilson for the Astros. Uh, Mark Davis for the Padres. Richard. Oh, I'm sorry. Yorkus Perez for the Richmond Braves. That's a prospect card, pre-rookie. Steve Sachs for the Dodgers. We got, uh, these names are not written. Trot Nixon, I guess. Must be a college card. Wildcat. Yeah, Trot Nixon. Interesting. Uh, here's another college card. Jeff Granger for the Texas Aggies. All right. Then we got uh, Shin Su Chu for the Reds. Brian McCann for the Braves. P 
Bryce Harper. There's a shout out to somebody. Deerman, I guess, likes him. I personally don't care for the guy, but uh, there's a lot of fans out there. So Bryce Harper. Uh, I will sleeve it up, though, because he's popular. And Zach Grinke with the Dodgers. I've never seen his uh, Dodgers cards before, actually. I've got a ton of him with the Astros and the uh, D-backs, obviously. But none for the uh, Dodgers, so I like that one. And we got D. Gordon. D. Gordon, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, he's the son of Tom Gordon, who I think used to play for the Mariners. I'm sure Donald could, could let us know. Classic says third year Harper. Yeah, probably. One, uh, 2014. Might be a second year. No, he played for the Nationals also in 12. So yeah, third, third, third year. All righty. So not too bad. No hits, per se, but uh, still not too shabby. Oh yeah, you bet, Carter. See, I called you Carter instead of Steve. Mr. Steve Carter. <laughs> There you go, Steve. You're good to go. Yep. Alrighty, so here we go with the second box of Fairfields. This is the newer box. This should show that it was packed in uh, either June or July of 19. That's the dates I'm typically seeing on them. Yeah. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera, the tripod here. June 26, 2019. At least they're consistent. <clears throat> All righty. So we'll split the deck in half, and our insert pack is going to be a 91 leaf series two pack <clears throat> so we'll do the second half later classic what wait that was all from the gray box um yeah isn't that interesting classic you're right boxed in uh well what 2019 cards i don't i remember 2018 Classic. I don't remember any 2019, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Bowman. Was there some Bowmans in there? Oh, I'd have to dig. I, I, I don't know off offhand how deep they were. I'm not sure. Like one card before the 18 tops. Well, the 18 tops are near the the end here, I believe. Okay, there's the 18 tops. So, tops, 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 tops. And we have Donruss, another Tops. Oh, there's the Bowman. The Bowman first. Okay, what year is that Bowman? That's a 2014 Bowman. The very bottom, okay. It might have been part of that first. Ah, maybe this one. We got it. You're right, Carter. I found it. It's the Kristen Stewart card. Twenty nineteen. A twenty nineteen card found in a box that was packed in September of eighteen. So I'll let you guys figure that one out. 
get Inspector Clouseau on the case. <laughs> yeah, Classic's feeling a little relieved. Oh, you're right, the Heritage. Good point. I, I remember that. Interesting. I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so here we go. We got, uh, uh, looks like, a Goa Fire car. That's a nice uh, little refractor stuff going on there. Alex Gordon with the Royals. I'm going to set that one aside. It's just a little special color to it. And here's the newer stuff. We got Sam Fold with the Athletics. James Shields with the Padres. Ryan Howard with the Phillies. Jordan Zimmerman with the Car uh, Nationals. We got Pete Harnish, rookie card for the Orioles. Tim Lauder with the Twins. Julio Cruz for the White Sox. Uh, Tino Martinez with the Mariners. Shout out to Donald. Uh, Kevin Apier with the Royals. Chad Curtis with the Angels. Doug Desenzo with the Cubs. Brett Saberhagen with the Royals. Checklist. Uh, Dwight Gooden, not a bad one. With the Indians, I think I've only seen him in Mets on Mets cards. I don't know if I've ever seen him on an Indians card before. That's unusual. Mike Pagliarulo with the Yankees. Daryl Miller. Alan Anderson. Ooh, that's a snazzy looking card there. Fernando Tatis. There we go. Look at that senior. Look at the look at that reflection, guys. That is a cool looking card, and it's a cool guy too. It's Fernando Tatis. That is one sweet looking card. What year is this? Uh, two thousand looks like. Yep, upper deck, two thousand. That is a cool looking card. I'll sleeve that one up later. You've got the Jeter one like that. Hey, Frank's with us. Good to see you, Frank. Uh, maybe using old boxes. Yeah, probably so classic. Okay. Got you guys. All right. We got uh, Lee Stevens with the Rangers. I wish that were an auto. It looks too too professional, though. That looks pretty cool, though. But that is uh, Jeff Jenkins with the Brewers. Man, I wish that was a non-card auto. But it's not. Dan Pasqua with the Yankees. Uh, Mark Lemke, Stadium Club card. That's like a, got a little three-dimensional feel to it. There's an old card, Bill Ammon, Alman, I'm sorry, with the Mets and Earl Weaver. Look at that, Earl Weaver with the Orioles. Uh, Jeff Pico with the Cubs. I think we got this in the last box. Keith Atherton with the Twins. Andy Allenson with the Indians. Jimmy Key, the Blue Jays, and we got Keith Miller with the Mets. Dan Pasqua is Mike Hitman 23's cousin. Interesting. Yeah, small world. Yeah, that's a it's a sweet fake auto. I wish it were real. Um, speaking of that, we're still looking for a hit in one of these two boxes. Haven't got one yet. Uh, Juan Bell rookie card for the Orioles. Terry Steinbach with the Athletics. Jose Oquendo. Hey, guys, look. Another Dom Glavin. That's out of the uh, Upper Deck 90. So we'll sleeve him up later on. 
Brooke Jacoby with the Indians. Yamil Benitez with the Expos. Uh, Carlos Perez, rookie card for the Expos. Sean Hare for the Tigers. Mike Davis, Orioles checklist. With Earl Weaver still in there. He was like a manager for what? 87 consecutive years or something like that? Forever. Eric Soderholm for the Rangers. Gary Carter. There we go, Steve. Steve, you, you see that one? That bell ring was for Steve. Carter's kids. Yeah, all right. Cool. Glavin was drafted to the NHL. Really? Glavin in the NHL? Huh. Had no idea. Uh, Tony Bernazard for the Indians. Raul Mondesi for the Dodgers. Scott Bradley for the Yankees. Jamie Kokenauer with the Brewers. Oh, there we go, guys. There's our duplicate for the box. Never fails. Except one time. One time. Uh, Greg Brock for the Brewers. Ozzy Virgil with the Braves. Uh, Brett Saberhagen for the Royals. And a Wally Joyner with the Royals. There we go. A Wally Joyner. And Rafael Santana with the Mets. So that's halfway through that box. So we're going to open up this pack of 91 Leaf Series 2. Is that an update card? Uh, yes. Which one are you talking about, Boom Sling? The update card? I can, I can go back and look at the card if you want me to. Just let me know and I'll go back through and, and let you know. Uh, okay, so here we go. Life, uh, life, Leaf 91. Denny Neagle. Mike Timlin. Crick. Chris Bozio, Dave Valle, Mike Felder, John Franco, Cal Ripken Jr. There we go. Oh, and a Nolan Ryan right behind it, guys. Look at that. Back to back. Cal Ripken Jr. and Nolan Ryan when he was with the Rangers. Uh, the top's Car uh, Carter card. Okay, let me check real quick. Boom Sling. It's a 90, it's a 93 card. It shows them with the Expos of 92. I'm not sure where you would see update or, or what. Boom Sling says, nope. Okay. Well, at least we checked and verified it. Okay, Chris Naboltz for the Expos. Jaime Navarro for the Brewers. Marty Barrett for the Padres. Carmelo Martinez for the Royals. Juan Berenger for the Braves. Jose Uribe for the Giants. Junior Ortiz. I can't quite tell. And there's a puzzle piece for uh, Harmon Killebrew, but it looks like he was okay with the Twins. Alrighty. So, hey, that was actually a pretty good pack. We got Nolan Ryan, and we've got Cal Ripken Jr. out of that one pack. I'll set the puzzle piece aside just for whatever. Okay, so finishing off here. All right. All right, I'm going to try to say this name once, and I'm going to go on from there. 
Mike Fultinowitz. Hope I didn't butcher it too bad. Uh, Texas Rangers team card. Oh, okay. There's no U in the front of the number. That's a good good way to know it. I Frank, I thought it was an interesting insert too. I'm like, oh, what's coming? What's coming? Oh, three puzzle pieces. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Chris Davis with the Athletics. Uh, Jordy Mercer with the Pirates. Here's a Heritage card. James McCann for the Tigers. Terry Steinbach with the A's. Kurt Young with the A's. Dave Magadan with the Mets. Joe Price for the Reds. Uh, Glavin's got a couple scorecards holding a hockey stick. Really? Huh. I've got a bunch of score. I'll, I'll keep my eyes open for that one. Okay, we got Roger Clemens. There we go. I'll set that one aside and sleeve him up. A little all-star card. Got Fred McGriff for the Blue Jays. Paul Mirabella for the Brewers. Ray Soff. Kirk McCaskill. Greg Swindell for the Indians. Franklin Gutierrez for the Royals. First year card. Mike Witt for the Angels. Uh, Brian Holton for the Dodgers. Jody Reed for the Red Sox. Uh, Tommy Barrett for the Phillies. Lou Whitaker. Lou Whit is that a true 83? Wow, Lou Whitaker on an 83. And that's like in pristine condition. I'm gonna set that one like extra, extra aside. Uh, Kurt Stillwell for the Royals. Paul Assenmacher. I'm not sure, guys, if Lou Whitaker's in the Hall of Fame or not, but seeing as though it's a pretty old card and I have heard of him, uh, I'm thinking it's a pretty good card, so. Uh, Paul Assenmacher, Steve Steib, Bob Kipper for the Pirates, George Wright for the Rangers, Jeff Jones for the A's, Rick Honeycutt for the Athletics, Buddy Biancalana, Biancalana, yeah, never heard of him, Hideo Nomo for the Dodgers, He's not in the hall. Okay. Yeah. I think it's still a pretty good card. And it's like I said, it's in perfect condition. Um, Bruce Ruffin for the Rockies. Chris James for the Phillies. Dave Bergman for the Tigers. Steve Bashelli or Bashel for the Rangers. Mitch Williams for the Rangers. Bob Welch for the Dodgers. Brian Dayett for the Cubs. John Davis for the White Sox. Spike Owen for the Red Sox. Mark Thurmond. Carlos Quintana. Doesn't look like we're going to get a hit, guys, but that's okay. Uh, here's a couple 84 cards. Mark Hill and Dave Rucker. It is, it's fun getting the original 84s after we pulled so many of the, uh, the throwback 84s out of the 19 set. It's kind of cool getting the originals. Uh, Todd Froworth for the Phillies. There we go, Donald. Donald. Edgar Martinez for the Seattle Mariners. I haven't done that in a while. It's kind of fun. Uh, Jeff Blauser for the Braves. Uh, Pascual Perez. That guy's hair was something else. Uh, with the Expos. Okay, last few cards here. We got Brian Williams for the Astros. Uh, Andres Baruman for the Marlins. And our last card is a Bob Boone for the Angels. So we got some Hall of Famers out of that. Not a bad box. Actually, I'd say both boxes were pretty good considering they didn't have a hit, per se, in them. But still pretty good. So here are the hits we had. Edgar Martinez, Roger Clemens, Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken Jr., Gary Carter, Tom Glavin, uh, Fernando Tatis on an absolutely stunning uh, reflective card there. Uh... Alex Gordon on a fire card. 
Zach Greinke with the Dodgers, Bryce Harper, uh, George Brett, another Roger Clemens, Alan Trammell, Bob Melvin, that's a hit for me because he coached the D-backs, uh, Will the Thrill Clark, and a very unique Roberto Alomar card when he was a kid, and then another Tom Glavin card on the stadium club. So pretty good a uh, number of hits there. Uh, Daddy Tetis, only person ever with two grand slams in the same innings. That's something. Was that in? The, I, I'm not familiar with that that play classic. Was was it the same game, like literally in the same inning of the same game? I mean, either way. Um, same inning of the same are you kidding I've never heard of that story wow that's phenomenal that almost like defies all the odds like that's harder to do than winning the lottery or something it was like a 12 RBI well at least four uh, eight RBIs for the, for the two grand slams that's awesome wow let me get these boxes out of the way. I'm going to set these cards out of the way because inevitably I'll bump the piles over if I don't move them now. And uh, we're we're coming up on an hour, and it's it's 3:15 my time. And again, I want to I want to end in the next 20 or 30 minutes or so because Ethan is going live, and I want to allow him as many viewers as possible and I really encourage all of you guys to to jump over to Ethan's channel after this so so here's what I got um, I got a package from Papa J this was a a package that I bought into his first ever break that he did live on air last week I picked up uh, I bought two boxes of cards in the break from him this is a an unknown package from Philip Oldenburg I can only imagine. Uh, this is going to be an eBay purchase I made. So that one, I'll probably do the Ebays first because there's really no surprise in there. This is the one I got from Ken Booth. That's Ken's Cardboards. Uh, I really don't know what to expect out of that. Uh, this came from um, One Cent Card Breaks. I bought into a break. So I just don't remember what I got in the break. Uh, this is another eBay purchase, and this is another eBay purchase, and then this, and I'm going to save this one for last. This is um, a package I received from Chris Howard. I hope Chris is still in here. He was in earlier. He said hello, and I haven't really heard from him in the last hour, so hopefully he's lurking in the background. I want to open up this last because I'm pretty sure I know what's inside, and I want to open up what's inside last, if that makes sense. Kind of like a grand finale type thing. So we'll do the Ebays. I got three Ebays. We'll get these cranked out. And then we'll get on to the surprises. What year was that, guys, that he hit those two Grand Slams, more or less? I wonder if that's like a, if that's something you can find on YouTube. If they if that game's available to view or something, so let's see. In no particular order, this one I think's got multiple cards in it. Let's see. I don't want to expose the receipt. Let me see what. Uh, okay, so the envelope's empty. Yeah, let me take the receipt out. April 23rd of 99. Okay. Thank you that for that, Frank. Either Frank has an incredible memory or he's quick on the Google search. Uh, that's good stuff. 
Alrighty. So here's what uh, here's what I got in these eBay. These were like I don't know, fifty cents, seventy-five cents, or something a piece. They were they were dirt cheap. But uh, nice job of top loading them all for me. So, uh, oh, there's okay. There's a there's a Jake Lamb on a blue uh, fire card. That's a pretty cool Jake Lamb card. I PC him, and of course, Mr. Johnson, Randy Johnson, with the Mariners. Uh, I almost said Mariners. Sorry, sorry, Donald, but he's with the D-backs in this one. Donald and I, Donald and I, kind of struggle over him. We tug of war. No, he's mine. No, he's mine. So there he is with the D-backs. Very nice. There's the cool Allen and Ginter, Jake Lamb rookie card. That's his rookie. And a Luis Urias first Bowman card with the Padres. That's a nice looking card. Steve's back. Good deal. All right, that was a quick break he took. All right, let's see what's in this pack I really appreciate him using those thicker top loaders those are good to have all right I got a really cool Jake Lamb on an 87 throwback with the uh, refractor I'm I think yeah refractor back in background that's a really sweet Jake Lamb card and I got a Goldie Paul Goldschmidt uh, all-star card on the 84 throwback I wish it were Diamondbacks, but yeah, you can't have everything in life. Still a cool card. And I got a uh, pink parallel Jake Lamb with a D-backs. That's a cool looking card. And another Paul Goldschmidt. Now here we go. Paul Goldschmidt on a D-backs card. It's a Bowman Best card too. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think I got, I got all these for, I don't know, three or four bucks. Um, oh, thank you, Donald, for that link. Yeah, it's good to have it. I appreciate that. Uh, classics taking off. All right, buddy, you take care of yourself. Have a great Friday. If you have time tonight, come back in and, and check out Ethan's stream if he's still live. He usually runs like three hours if you can make it. But I really appreciate you hanging out with us, buddy. I really enjoy your company and your insight. Okay, save those loaders for later. All right, let's see what's in this one. Oh, yeah, I remember ordering this one. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's not you know, it's not like a game used memorabilia or anything, but it, I I love the uh, the original Diamondbacks colors. Not that I don't like the new ones, but uh, I always had a thing for the purple and, and teal. So there's Zach Grinky with the patch with the A logo on it. Yeah, that's a really sweet looking uh, card there. So I'm gonna set that one right right there. Chris, I hope you're still here. Getting uh, getting closer to getting your package open, buddy. Sorry, I keep bumping the. Every time I jerk something out, I bump that thing. All right, let me take the receipt out. All right, well, he put a really thick insert, like blank piece, which is nice, but. And regular tape doesn't come up quite as easy as the blue painter's tape. Uh, I didn't mean 
looking for it. See, it, blue tape would not appeal like that. But uh, nonetheless, there we go. There's a triple relic uh, D-backs card. It's got uh, Pollock, Goldschmidt, and Lamb. Uh, two uniforms and a bat piece. That's a really good looking card. It's numbered out of 36. It's, num it's actually numbered 35 out of 36. Jose's in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, okay, Chris, you're still here. Good. Just checking on you, buddy. Make sure you didn't doze off or anything. Fairfield's, I guess, could possibly put some people to sleep. I really like that. I mean, it's really thick, but this paper insert, it's like, that's a really thick uh, cardstock. Anywho. Yeah, if you guys ever do any uh, shipping or sending out cards to anybody, do your customer or the recipient of your package, do them a favor and use blue tape instead of regular masking tape or scotch tape. This stuff is horrible. It leaves a nasty residue. But blue, the blue painter's tape, is ideal. It peels off easy. It doesn't leave any residue. Yeah, Chris is disappointed. No, no, no Sabo or Bob Ojeda, no Bob Walk, no Noakes. Alrighty. So that does it for the known cards. Now I'm going to get into some surprises here. Uh, let me get into the breaks that I bought into first. Let me open up this one. This is from one card, uh, one cent cards. Let me pull the note out and see if it says anything. Yeah, I'll show this. This is from uh, Dustin Phillips. He's a uh, one cent. He's saying, Happy New Year. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for getting into last week's one cent sports cards break live uh, break on YouTube. I really appreciate the support. There's his email if anyone needs to reach out to him or join his Patreon club. There's one cent card breaks information and I really don't remember I bought like three or four breaks this last week and I don't remember what teams or who I had or what um, okay Kevin's card see he used blue tape he, he knows I'll just peel SSP is in the house. Good to see you, Jonathan. Hey, um, no, absolutely no rush, Jonathan, but I just want to let you know that those cards went out to you in today's mail, those, uh, those chromes that we were talking about. So hopefully in the next few days you'll be getting those. But again, no, no rush on yours to, to send out. But, uh, and I need to sit down and go through that checklist in depth and figure all those. If you guys don't know, I'm working on the 84 insert set from the 2019 uh, Top Series. And there's so many variations of it. There's the Series 1, the Series 2, the Update. And then you've got the Chrome Series. You've got the, um, they call it the Silver Pack Series. You've got the ones with the reflect uh, refractor inserts. The, the, they got the color variations. There's just so many versions of it. Um, but SSP has been a great help in kind of guiding me through it and understanding it better so it looks it looks like i had uh uh brewers and oh that is one sweet card um and diamondbacks and it looks like i don't know what other teams pirates are in here too uh bryce terang and dre jameson but can you guys see that reflection in there these are bowman chromes Those are beautiful, beautiful cards. There, set the D back in front. I 
Uh, Frank, yeah, um, I've got a checklist I'm going to run through and see what I've got and what I need. Um, if you've got a bunch of inserts that you've got duplicates of or, or something you don't need, um, I'll, I'll shoot you an email or, with what I'm looking for. Maybe uh, we can work out a deal or something. All right, let's see who else we got here. This is uh, Tommy Henry. Same kind of refractor going on there. Uh, John Duplantier on Chrome. Okay, these are the holiday cards. We got Kevin Cron, Luke Weaver, Adam Jones, Merrill Kelly. Okay, now the Pirates. We've got Mitch Keller, Felipe Vasquez, Josh Bell. And now for our Brewers, we've got Orlando Arcia. And a couple more of those cool cards. These are both Pirates. We've got a Cal Mitchell and a Travis Swaggerty. You know what would be cool is like if you just poked a little hole in not the card but the, the, ones, the penny sleeve and could hang it by like fishing line. These would like make great sun catchers. Just let them spin and watch the, the light reflect off them. I know I'm silly, but they, they just they really put out a cool effect. So thank you there, Dustin. I appreciate it. That was a fun card break. And very reasonably priced too, I remember. Okay, Frank, yeah, I'll shoot you an email. Appreciate that. Okie doke. Let's see. What else we got? I've got uh, Ken Booth. That's a surprise. Let me open up Papa Jay's only because that's another break. Oh, man. I hate to cut through that sticker. I don't know if... Oh, it does peel. Oh, awesome. I did not want to have to slice the Papa Jay sticker in half. Bear with me, guys, while I do a slow peel on this. I want to try to preserve it. This is pretty good quality sticker. Just hoping it doesn't pull the paper up. Do you guys ever get frustrated when you go to the store and you buy something and it, the price tag will not come off and then it ends up leaving that gunk and it's like, you know, why do they ruin good products with these lousy adhesive stickers? It's like the most annoying thing in the world. Almost there, guys. I'm, tr I'm really trying to preserve this Papa J sticker. All right. Pulled off a little bit of the barcode. Let me stick it to a plastic wrapper for now. I can do something with that later. Nice. Alrighty, I got 25 minutes till Ethan, so I gotta get rolling here. Alright, so this is from Papa J. From Papa J Cards. And I almost said one of the nicest guys in the community, but he's not. He's not one of the nicest. He is the nicest. If you guys don't know Papa J, you need to know Papa J. Oh man, he, he top loaded these too. Very, very cool. Very nice of him. These are out of the uh, 19 gallery. 18 gallery, I'm sorry. Um, wow, artist proof for Victor Robles. Raphael Devers, shout out to Philip Oldenburg. I know he's a, a Devers fan. Look at that green uh, border there for Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. Shohei Otani with the Angels. Austin Meadows with the Pirates. Another Victor Robles. This is from the Optic set. We got Dallas Kuchel, or Kukel, I'm not sure how you say it, with the Astros. And then we got, <laughs> is that Rafael Devers? They call him Raffy Big Stick. Look at that. Raffy Big Stick. That's funny. And then Shohei Otani. 
rated rookie card. Those are nice, very nice cards. So thank you for that, Papa J, for taking such good care of those. Um, these were just the uh, man, and he once sleeved every other card. Guys, like who does that? Every one of these is in a penny sleeve. Every single card. Again, who does that? Papa J does that. Uh, I'll run through these real quick. Tyler Wade, Jordan Hicks, Scott Kingery, Anthony Banda, uh, Randy Red, Reed, Nick Kingham, Fernando Romero, uh, Andrew McCutcheon, Chad Green, Christian Yelich, Artist Proof. Uh, I'm going to call that a hit, actually. I'll, I'm going to probably top load that later on. Anthony Rizzo, another good one. Buster Posey with the Giants, Jose Urena, Mike Fultenowicz. I think I'm getting better with that name. Luke Weaver, Dustin Pedroia, Steven Souza Jr. Um, always reminds me of Philip Souza, the conductor or the music director. Now there's Steven Souza, uh, Joey Votto, Greg Bird, Giancarlo Stanton, Jose Altuve, very nice. D. Gordon, Freddie Freeman, yeah, uh, Yasmani Grandal, Zach Greinke in the D-backs uniform. Okay, now to the optics, we got Miguel Cabrera, Adrian Beltre, two Beltres, Marcus Stroman, Ryan Zimmerman, Orlando Arcia, Cody Bellinger, very nice. Look at that, Jose. Jose, if you're watching. Hey, Wynn's in the house. Good to see you, Wynn. Hey, Wynn, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of speeding through this because I know Ethan starts here in the next 20 minutes or so. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, Clint Fraser, very nice. Ryan McMahon, Francisco Mejia with the Padres, Kyle Schwarber, Clayton Kershaw, another shout-out to Jose, my Dodger fan, Jose Ramirez, Andrew Benatendi, good, good card there, uh, Cameron Gallagher, Justin Turner to the Red Menace, another shout-out to Jose, Adrian Beltre, Brian Dozier, another Ryan Zimmerman, Mitch Garver, Corey Seager, wow, a lot of good Dodger cards in here too. Zach Cozart and Orlando Arcia. So I know I rushed through those guys, but they weren't uh, what we deemed as the hits, I guess. And I'm kind of on a time crunch, so I gotta get moving. So thank you again, Papa Jay, not only for the having the break, um, for sending me the cards, but for taking such good care of them. Um, that was awesome. Penny sleeved every single card. Okay, this is from Ken's Cardboard. Ah, I'm just going to cut it. I've never had luck salvaging these packages. Yeah, it was a sweet Bellinger. You're right. Okay, there's a note. Let me read the note offline real quick. Oh. It says, Kevin, I enjoy watching your channel and playing the games you have. He's referring to the Home Run Derby that I do on Sundays. I got your package from the Home Run Derby contest. Thank you. I hope you enjoy these cards. I am sending your way. No need to send any back. Pay it forward. Blessings, Ken. Well, thank you, Ken, for that. That's a very nice note. I appreciate that. I'm glad you, uh, you like the games. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I don't know. Oh, my word. Guys, I'm going to do a slow re reveal up the camera here. Just look at your camera for a second, guys, and watch this. When there are no words, you just shut up and let it happen. I knew it. You fooled me. It's a throwback card. <laughs> oh, I, I honestly, it, it looks so good, guys. I thought it was an original. But uh, it might as well be. It's still a gorgeous card. Uh, it's dated 2017, all rookie cup card. That's still a beautiful card. I love getting the uh, 
the throwback versions and stand them side by side with the originals. I've done that with the 89 uh, Randy Johnson card. I've done that with a few others I can't recall offhand. But uh, I'm definitely going to do this. I'm looking for an Ozzy Smith. One of these days I'll get one. And this will be perfect side by side. Oh, that was that was good, Ken. I appreciate that, man. That was awesome. I don't think you meant it as a as a joke per se, but I, I went for it and I played along and I, I enjoyed it. That was fun. So thank you so much for that, Ken. Uh, we got Roberto Alomar. I, Hall of Famer there for the Padres. I, I PC him. Goldie. I've never seen a Goldie card that actually says Goldie on it. I do not have that card. Oh, his uniform even says Goldie on it. That's cool. Another Goldschmidt card. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that little reflective action there for Yonder, Yonder Alonso for the Padres. Very nice. Oh, there's a throwback 83 to Trevor Hoffman. It's a beautiful card. Golden Moments, Padres, Tony Gwynn. I don't have that card. I don't actually have any of the cards I've gotten so far here. Uh, who's this? Will Myers, very nice. Very nice card. Eric Cosmer. And, ooh, Tony Gwynn on a, one of those disc cards. King B, 21 out of 24. That is cool. I don't have a single one of these cards that you sent me, Ken. Thank you so, so much, buddy. You got me, though. You got me. That's like a candid camera trick. <laughs> very, very cool, though, buddy. Thank you so, so much. Let me, in fact, let me put, turn him that way. Oh, the Bl are you calling the Blom doll a fake? Is that a fake card? Frank, you're them's fighting words. Oh, Jose did the same thing. He bought a Buster Posey rookie, and it was a reprint. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful with those, I guess. You know, hey, Chat Town's in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks so much for joining. Dave Durango's in the house. Dave made it for the tail end of things here. We're going to wrap up in the next 15 minutes because we're all going to jump over to Ethan's sale at 4 o'clock Pacific. But you're just in time, Dave, to see what I got from good old Philip. Lord only knows what Philip sent me. But again, Ken, thank you so, so much. That is a sweet package of cards there. I really appreciate it. My goodness, Philip. I think you sent me your whole collection. Okay. So these are from Philip. He's got top loaders and everything in here. All right. Oh, we got the dual uh, Gwyn and Machado card. Very, very nice. Ooh, look at that Duplantier card, guys. That is a sweet Bowman Platinum card. Almost like got the disco lights going on in the background. That's a sweet card. Another Goldie. Very nice. Goldschmidt on the Legends of the Making. Very nice. Where do you get all these cards, Philip? I don't have these cards. Um, go another Goldie, 42 home runs. I don't have these. Uh, Goldschmidt on the 18 uh, gallery. Goldie on the optic. Another Goldie on a gallery card. Goldie on a masterpiece gallery. Another Goldie on a... Okay, I'll show you. Well, you probably already saw it, guys. Another Goldie, but look at that. On, uh, sticker Auto, Merrill Kelly on a gallery card. <sighs> Philip. Oh, you guys see that? I got one. I got one. But, guys, that is too cool. Thank you so, so much, Philip. Merrill Kelly Auto card. Man. Yeah, he got me. A, he sent me a Merrill Kelly on a different card autograph last time. <laughs> they came from your breaks. Okay, you might recognize these, huh? So they might have your fingerprints on them, Dave. I'll, I'll have to check that. Uh, Tony Gwynn, very, very cool. 
Goldschmidt on a Star Science card. But guys, check this out. I got me a stash card. 11 out of 50 on card auto. Philip Stash Oldenburg. <laughs> that is too cool. Thank you so, so much, Philip. That is sweet. In fact, I need to give you a stand now to join my collection of fan followers. Very, very cool. Looks goldie good. Yes, that was a goldie good collection of cards there. A lot of good goldies. Um, Gwyn's. And that Merrill Kelly. Man. More Gwyn's here. We got Gwyn on a upper deck team card. Gwyn on an 89 upper deck. Okay, we got some more D-backs. We got John Ryan Mar uh, Murphy. Cattell Marte. Him and uh, Escobar, the two Venezuela guys on the team. Christian Walker, first baseman. I love it. Taylor Clark. Kevin Cron on the base card. There's Merrill Kelly. There's our guy. Greg Holland, D-backs. Luke Weaver. John Duplantier, rookie. Wilmer Flores. Man, I think he sent me the whole team set from 19. The Snake Celebrate. You got Peralta, Escobar, and Jones. Uh, not Escobar. Dyson and Jones. There's Jones right there. Another Duplantier. Another Cattell Marte. Another Duplantier. And back to the Goldies. Another Goldschmidt card on a Donruss. Oh, what year is this? D-backs team card from 20, 2006. Very, very sweet. Nice. Uh, Alex Avila with Chrome. Taiwan Walker on Chrome. David Peralta on Chrome. Zach Granke. And lastly, Hiroshi, Hirohisa Hirano. Pitcher for the D-backs. Wow. That was, that was cool. That was too cool, Stash. Thank you so much. That That's special. I appreciate all those. Last but not least, guys, we got a package from Chris Howard. And I know what's in here, so I wanted to leave a little bit of time because I'm going to have to open these up once I get the pack open. Uh, what have I missed? I've missed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> cat, if there's a cat hair stuck to the Kelly, it's yours, huh, Dave? Uh, well, I'll fingerprint the cards for you and I'll DNA check the hair for your cat. So, yeah, I guess I should be thanking you, Dave. Thank you, brother, so much. Uh, Philip was just the middleman. He was just the warehouse distributor. All right, so these are from Chris, guys. 2018 update series pack. Should be three packs in here, I believe. And another update. And another update. So we got three packs of updates in here. And I promised him if I got them in time, I would open them on live stream Friday. And here we are live stream on Friday. So we're going to rip into these. We got uh, 11 minutes to go. Uh, chat's in the house. I think I said hi to you. Crosby's with us. Good to see you. Uh, looks, I said hi to Jose. Everyone's here. Chris says that's a boom. Stash it. Yeah, I know, guys. I'm sorry. I missed a bunch of stuff here. I'm kind of rushing through things. All right. All right. So I'm going to rip into these, see if we get anything out of the 2018 updates that we got from Chris. Frank says, let's rip them. I hope Chris is watching. All right, we got the insert card. All righty, here we go. <clears throat> Nick Markakis with the Braves. Yeah, D-backs right off the bat. Brad Boxberger. Felipe Vasquez for the Pirates. Kyle Baraclaw. For the Marlins. Glaber Torres, guys, with the All-Star Game Card rookie. 
I'll set that one aside. Ronaldo Lopez for the White Sox. Our oldest Chapman, very good, very good. Azdrubabel Cabrera for the Phillies. Um, I love that card, guys. Look at that. Altuve and Judge. I dubbed that the David and Goliath card. Very cool. Shohei Otani with the rookie card stamp on it. Set that one aside. Brandon McCarthy with the Braves. Jack Reinheimer for the D-backs. Garrett Cooper for the Marlins. Uh, Brent Suter for the Brewers. Uh, Michael Soroka for the Braves. Reese Hoskins. Shout out to Dearman. In fact, Donald just did a bio on him earlier in the week. Very cool. Danny Valencia for the Orioles. Oh my goodness. Goldschmidt. I'm going to ring the bell because it was unexpected. And he's with the D-backs, not the Cardinals. So that's a cool card. I'll set that one aside. And we got a little uh, rainbow foil card on Anthony Banda. Oh, an insert of Will Myers and the Padres. Very cool. Hey, a throwback 83 card for Mike Mikolas for the Cardinals. And a Billy Hamilton, Legends in the Making. We got John Lester for the Cubs. Dominic Leone for the Cardinals. Fran Mill Reyes with the Padres. Jose Ramirez. Edwin Diaz. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. I think I said that right for the Rangers. Chris Archer with the Pirates. Joe Jimenez with the Tigers. Robinson Chirinos with the Rangers. I believe he might be with another team now. I can't remember who. Might be the Nationals. I don't know. Uh, Jorge Alfaro with the Phillies. Lance Lynn with the Yankees. Uh, dual rookie Luis Galorme and Gerson Bautista for the Mets. We got uh, Matt Kemp with the Dodgers. And Yelich and Kane for the Brewers. Throw your hands in the air card. Very, very good. Man, there's some good cards in that pack. All right, one down, two to go. All right, we got Daniel Mengen, Mengd, Mengden with the A's, J.A. Happ with the Yankees, Javi Baez, home run derby card with the Cubs, Neil Walker with the Yankees, Jan Gomes with the Indians, Leonis Martin with the Indians, Garrett Cole with the Astros, adios Astros. Jesse Biddle with the Braves. Uh, Yanni Chirinos. Another Chirinos. That's a unique name to have twice. Uh, Matt Harvey with the Reds. Derek Rodriguez with the Giants. Mark Kanha with the Athletics. Bryce Harper, home run derby card. Eek, I hate to do it, but i got to set it aside to sleeve it. Uh, Dylan Cousins with the Phillies. Daniel Robertson with the Rays. Jonathan Lucroy with the Athletics. Pedro Strop with the Cubs. Uh, Maneja no hits Red, against the Red Sox, I guess. It says Red Sox, but he's in an A's uniform. I guess that's who he threw against. Uh, Roberto Asuna with the Astros. Justin Verlander on the Game Changer card. Very cool. Will the Thrill Clark, Storybook Endings 2000. That's cool. Garrett Cole, Legends in the Making. There's our second Cole of the pack. Oh, another Legends in the Making, Francisco Mejia. He is now with the Padres, but here's with the Indians. Uh, oh, there's a double hit there. We got Albies and Acuna Jr. on one card. Set that one aside. Aaron Nola with the Phillies. Dan Otero with the Indians. Oh, I've seen a lot of guys pull this. Uh, I don't have it yet, though. The golf cart in uh, Angels card. Juan Lagares with the Mets. Jaime Candelario with the Tigers. Zach Britton with the Yankees. 
Taylor Davis with the Cubs, Daniel Gossett with the Athletics, Kenley Jansen with the Dodgers, Jesus Aguilar with the Brewers, another Verlander. I'm getting a lot of the same guys, but they're all good guys too. Uh, Verlander, and last but not least, a Brad Ziegler Diamondbacks card. That's a good way to end with the D-backs. So we've reached the end, the final pack of the night. Just in time. Still got 12 folks watching. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. And again, right at the end of the stream, I'm going to close out and head over to Ethan's Elvis Covers and More. I'd love for you all to join me over there and watch his sale. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. Last pack mojo. Daniel Winkler with the Braves. Austin Meadows rookie debut card. Very nice. I'll set that one aside. Uh, Arodis Vizcaino with the Braves. Lorenzo Cain with the Brewers. Marco Gonzalez with the Mariners. Salvador Perez with the Royals. Tommy Canley, Conley with the Yankees. Yadi Molina. There we go. Good old Yadi. Yadier. Mike Moustakas with the Brewers. <laughs> Hosmer and Cody Bellinger get off my base. There's a Cody card for Jose. Hope he sees that one. Uh, Lou Trevino with the Athletics. Steven Piscotti with the A's. Francisco Lindor, all-star game card. Very nice. I uh, wonder if they're ever going to decide what to do with him. I keep hearing about trades, but I haven't heard any official word yet. Um, there's another Lindor, all smiles with him and Ramirez. Uh, we've got Shane Carl with the Braves. Denard Spann with the Mariners. Sam Caviglio, Blue Jays. We're coming up on our center insert cards here. We've got Tammy, Tommy Pham, just became a Padre in exchange for Hunter Renfro. So looking forward to seeing him perform. Uh, Mike Piazza with the Mets. Okay. And, oh, there's a nice storybook ending. 2001 Cal Ripken Jr. Shout out to Donald. Our resident uh, Cal Ripken Jr. fan. Oh, guys, look, we got a numbered card. Reggie Jackson. Ooh, short print. 22 out of 299. Short print, guys. Reggie Jackson, All Stars, Legends card. Sweet. That's a that's a great hit. I want to set that in the special hit side. Uh, Todd Fraser on the '83 throwback card. Miguel Sano, Legends in the Making. And we got a rookie combo. We got Eliezer Hernandez and Mirandi Gonzalez. Uh, Justin Anderson and Miguel Michael Hermosillo with the Angels. Uh, third rookie combo in a row, Alex Blandino and Brandon Dixon with the Reds. Uh, Nathan Iovaldi with the Red Sox. Juries Familia with the Athletics. Jaime Barria with the Angels. Fernando Romero with the Twins. <laughs> Bryce Harper, good old Bryce Harper. It pains me, but I got to sleeve him up. Aaron Judge, there we go. All-Star Game card with the Yankees. Let's leave him up. Braxton Lee with the Marlins. Rookie card. Jacob Barnes with the Brewers. Wilson Ramos. And our last card of the night, guys, with one minute to spare before Ethan's show. It's a Steve Sishek with the Cubs. Guys, that was worth three phenomenal packs. We even got a short print out of the deal on a Reggie Jackson card. That is a sweet, sweet pull. So, Chris, if you're still watching, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. In fact, I need to set that one aside. I don't know why I did that. So that was a phenomenal night, guys. Thank you all so much. For those of you who sent me mail, I am so, so appreciative of it, guys. It means so much to me that you take the time to put together these packs to send out, and I'm able to share them with you guys as well as everybody else in the stream. A uh, lot of fun, guys. A lot, a lot of fun. Uh, my next stream should be on Sunday for the Home Run Derby, Sunday afternoon. Hope you all can make it to that. It's now 4 o'clock. Let's everybody all at once jump over to Ethan's Elvis Covers and More to watch his live stream sale. So thanks again, guys. God bless every one of you. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.